Theo, everyone knows you as a top chef and restaurateur, um, and they know about your influences for food. But tell me a bit about your influences on wine, because you're equally knowledgeable about that. What got you into it? Well, um, my father was very into wine, so I kind of had the uh, fortune of sort of, when we, when we were kids, we'd go to um, some um, winemakers and, 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 you know, little sips of wine, but he used to taste wine. And so I kind of, it kind of was part of the whole food, um, growing up with food and, and, and wine. And then um, when I was at the River Cafe, we had a lot of trips over to see the kind of the, uh, the sort of new wave Italian wine producers. And this was like the early 90s. It was amazing how these kind of, you know, the, the previous generation had been a farmer and they had these fantastic plots of land with, with old vines and they sort of ripped out the old vines and planted new vines and started to experiment. There was a sort of completely uh, new sort of fashion into wine. And particularly in uh, Tuscany, in northern Italy, um, to this around the Chianti Classica region. I remember going to various trips and going to places like uh, Isola Elena where the famous Paolo de Marche is. And I remember going there and seeing the sort of their wine was actually, you know, in barrels outside. It was very unsophisticated. But the wine they started to produce was absolutely brilliant. And, and it was completely new at the time. In, in, in those days, Italian wine, particularly Chianti, was, you know, huge quantities and it was sold off and mixed with other wines and various things. But, um, you know, they, they reduced the amount of uh, wine they produced and uh, went for quality rather than quantity. And so I was just very fortunate enough to be in that, that, that era and seeing that wine um, being developed and, and having a, a loving, loving good food. But loving good food, you have to like good wine. Uh, so, yeah, the, the passion's been there always, but it sort of was enhanced from going to those trips to Italy. Well, you have a very good list here at uh, Theo Randall. Um, these two bottles here, tell me a little bit about this beauty. Well, this is a, this is a, a classic example of Italian wine, how, how it's developed. And this is uh, Conti Costanti, um, uh, been in the family for like sort of 50, 60 years. And he produces the most brilliant Brunello. And his Rosso de Montalcino is excellent as well, mm -hmm. but it's um, it, it, they use the old traditional methods. It's a sort of old old style, but you know, using some new new oak as well. They use Slovakian oak, and uh, as you can see, this is you know, it's a reserve of 2001. But you know, they've got quite big tannins. I mean, the, the grape from this is Sangiovese Grosso, and it's got this very sort of thick skin, so you get quite um, quite sort of big tannins. They need to develop. You need that kind of vanilla from from the the oak. Um, and, you know, this particular wine is one of my favourites. And I think, you know, sometimes there's, there's sort of these sort of big producers of wine with all the kind of advertising and all the kind of, you know, lights and bells ringing. But sometimes there's the smaller producers that produce tiny quantities that really love what they do are the, 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 the best ones, particularly in Italy. What would we drink this with? Um, I would have that with something, probably something like a grouse or something quite gamey. Um, at the moment, we've got a, a, a pigeon on the, the menu. It's a, a squab pigeon marinated in marsala with garlic and thyme, and we roast it with fresh porcini mushrooms in the wood oven. And that would go very nicely with that, I would say. Tell me about this one. This one is La Grolla, which is uh, the, a vineyard in um, uh, around the region of Valpolicella. Allegrini make the um, fantastic wine. They have a lot of vineyards in that region. And they produce from the very simple Valpolicella to the great Amarone, and they do one, one wine called La Poya. La Grolla is the vineyard, it's a flat vineyard, uh, right in the middle of the flats of, of uh, Valpolicella. Valpolicella is very, very flat, and this is just one sort of hill, um, sort of flat hill in the middle of it all. And it produces, um, obviously, as it's on a hill, it gets much better sunlight, so that the, the vines get much more uh, riper and have a, a better, much better quality grape. But it's a, it's a fabulous wine, and again, it's very, very simple. I like things simple. I like quality, but simple, and that's definitely quality with simplicity. Well, how would you describe your food? That's interesting. Uh, that's pretty how I describe my food, really. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I love, uh, you know, I'm very passionate, as you know, about ingredients and getting really fabulous ingredients and doing as little to them as possible. I mean, you know, I think that's the, the, my philosophy on food is a lot of the, the same philosophy with some of these winemakers. You know, they, they, they produce a fabulous grape, by you know, cutting back the grapes, there might, might only be one bunch on some of these vines, mm. but they're gonna make sure the actual quality of the, the vine or the grape is so fantastic that it produces something that's really pure. And I think you know, with food, I think that's the best way to think about things, is to get something that's really as fabulous as possible and to, to create something. When you are cooking something or you're preparing something in a certain way, but you're really getting the most out of the ingredient. What would this beauty cost me? Well, for you, Roy, uh, I, th I think it's on the list at about a, uh, £120, but it's, it's, 
a fantastic bottle of wine. And you know, if you've got a table of uh, you know four and you open one of these, it's it's it, it, the magnums really that they, they they develop much quicker. So. Sure. You know, if you, the bigger the bottle, the quicker it develops. I love magnums. Yeah. The safe is getting it from the table too often. <laughs> <laughs> Theo, thanks very much indeed for your time. Absolute pleasure.